Hi, welcome back to DIY Voter Postcarding. This is lesson four, further fingerprints. If you have not found us before and have actually never done any postcards, please go to postcardstovoters.org, get some cards, get some pens, get some addresses. We'd love to have you. Today we are doing further fingerprints. Lots of blue and green, so I went teal today. I've seen a few of your efforts so far, and I've enjoyed seeing your comments, but I do have to say I'm a little bit sad because I haven't seen any fingerprints on your cards. Send them to me, please. I'd love to see them. Post them everywhere. Well, I know many of you are very busy and busy with some states that have their own cards and you're planning to do it, right? Maybe you'll get more inspired today. Today we're going to keep it still very simple. A simple turtle, fish, some birds, you know, nothing too hard until we get to our fabulous fox. That one's a little more of a challenge, but they're all very simple and cute. We'll look at some cute headlines and you'll be ready to go. So let's get going. Okay, supplies are actually pretty simple today. Uh, testing paper, sanitizer for cleaning our fingers, paper towel, cards or practice paper, rulers if you want them, pencil and erasers if you want them. I'm going to uh, do a very simple little cut today with my new paper scissors. Basic pens for drawing the black lines, whatever style you like. Headline pens, whatever style you like. Anything bold, you know, a regular Sharpie. Okay, inks today, colors. You could do the same color for everything, you know. But I got a uh, blue and a green. And then colors for the deer and the fox. This is called doe. This beautiful color, red geranium, I may use for the deer and the fox. I've got this really pale tan color because I'm going to use it for the tip of the fox's tail. But you can just draw little lines if you want. You could use orange. For these, you could use regular red. So you could just have a red or an orange and be ready to go. Okay, let's start. Okay, we're starting with blue and we're starting with, hey, what could be easier than fish? Now, because I had this joke in mind, I did want to do a dory fish. But today I'm going to be showing not just my style, but the Edward Emberley and the four E's. Extremely easier Edward Emberley. This one's from another group found called Printunes. Anyway, I've looked it up again and noticed that Dory has a longer yellow tail, so I'm going to draw that and color it in later. Just Do the oval and then I'm going to add a little touch here for the way the fin goes. So you are free to do whichever style you want. There are plenty of ways to do a fish. Also in blue are some birds. You can do one, of course. You can do multiples. I'm going to use my pinky. Line up the front of the pinky and then a little extra of the side. Ah, too much. Oh well. Oh, the lines will make a difference, right? There. And now we have green, a little turtle, because voters are turtly cool. You can see here with the Ed Emberley style that the appendages are not done with separate little fingerprints, but I'm gonna do that anyway with my sea turtle. Big thumbprint for the shell, complete with all the craggy lines from my thumb. Fingerprint for the head, little pinky print. And then the side of the pinkies for the little lappy legs. Oh, a little pointy pinky end for the tail. 
Now these don't have to be precise because we'll be going over with the pen. If I don't like that, you know, I can just always do it again. I'll be doing plenty of them. But here's our sea turtle. Start with the finger for the head. This one does go a little bit lower on the page than some of them. Another finger for the rest of the neck, however much you want to put. And then we've got pinkies, side of the pinky. Try to make it skinny. Open wide. <laughs> we'll get her done. What else can we do as long as we've got green on our thumbs? Oh, look at this guy. I couldn't resist. Sometimes you see them with their knee legs bent in front, but I wanted him hopping because, of course, we're going to say, class, hop to it and vote, right? We just need a simple single thumbprint, and the rest will be with our pen. And now for the red, orange, and or brown. These are ones from the book. They're very cute. And you'll notice it's not trying to make substantial legs, not trying to make a fingerprint for every little part, just the main structural ovals. Do I do that? No, I get a little carried away, but hey. Okay, I'm gonna point upwards because my thumb seems to point upwards. And I'm just doing the deer's face. And a cap because, of course, try to make the head round. Or triangular. Okay, now for our challenging critter today. Because of this two-tone on the tail, you can see how I did it last year. If I had just avoided the outline, it probably would have looked a little cuter. Looking back at where I found the original, I see that they used a little bit of a stencil. I'm going to cut a little round curve. Remember, stencils can include or exclude things. That's what's so cool about them. So I'm going to start with thumb for the body. Thumb for the head, way up here. A little pointy for the ears. And now for the tail. See that? Isn't that cute? Now we're finding Dory because she knows how to vote. So a little bit of a bridge here. Kind of tapering off. A little bit of a mouth. Nice big eyes. Eyebrow. You know, it's just an idea. Maybe you'll have some other ideas for using fish. Okay, so either you want to do a single bird or a little course here. Closed eyes. They're thinking. They're singing joyfully. Okay, so here are the blue ones with their headlines. Maybe uh, you'll come up with some other ones, so I hope you share if you do. And now we have our little attempt at sea turtle. They really do have kind of a frowny beak and so forth. They're trying to make them smirk.
I'm not going to write a lot of the headlines. You're seeing them already, and you have your own ideas and styles. Books have a lot of squatting frogs with the legs in front, but you know, we need to show somebody's hopping to it and voting. The one I did last year, I definitely looked up a photograph and sketched them first. But we'll try something easier this time. Can't help it, I'll still make the mouth go back there. There, now can that be so hard? You can do it, I know you can. And here are the green ones. These are very simple, so much fun. Voters will love them. The concept comes, uh, well, I saw the deer online, but the theme actually came simultaneously from a good friend of mine and from our wonderful Annie, who does so many cute, Puns with her stamps. Got the little nose down here. Eyes not too high up. Ears. Now, sorry, I don't have a really bold pen with me that you could just make the antlers. you know, with a single bold stroke instead of trying to do the outline. When I saw the cat, I just couldn't resist. I thought, yes, let's do a kitty cat. I notice as simple as they are, he puts one leg in front and one behind. So we can avoid doing the outlines here. It's not necessary. The nose is way down at the end. Or a pointy little face. The eyes are way over on the two sides. And that's all. The hard part is just really figuring out the bulk of your thumb and the angles. And this one, I left a little too much space. But I'm not going to cry about it. And here are the reddish, brownish, orange ones. Very simple. Just a couple of fingerprints. Just takes a little practice. And we get into my theme, experiment, test, and practice. All right, now for some PhD level prints. Well, this is as easy as you can get, really. Single prints, the trick is the color. Now, what you could do is get some little um, paint, any type of paint and mix the tones yourself and have a little spread out on a plate and just uh, press your finger on a paper towel or a test paper until you get the nice fingerprint level. Easy peasy. You can buy really tiny tube of paint. This one, when I did it with just a single row of prints, it kind of looked weird. So that's when I got the two different shades of blue and I think giving it the depth really makes it a blue wave without um, looking like, ew, they're just weird fingers. This one's a little fun joke, trying to get the ink going on more than just the fingertips. And it's based, of course, on the really famous popular card 
by the amazing artist Kurt. Remember mouth puppets? I had to really kind of jam the card onto the um, my thing hand, but it worked out. This was just sort of the best one for vote by mail. Could be for anything. Then I used um, gel pens, jelly roll pens, paint over. This one's for Florida vote by mail. It could be for any ocean-based community. Of course, you can't help yourself if you're dealing with Florida. Gotta have a flamingo. And another one with just the fingerprints, because why not? That takes a little extra drawing, but again, you can just start with the facial features and then soon it's easy to think hair, simple arms. You can do it. Let's have some fun. I want to see your fingerprint cards. By combining just a few fingerprints and simple lines, simple headlines, you can quickly decorate cards that'll be fun and get voters' attention. Save yourself some funds so that you can use the money towards donating. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy your cards. Let's see what ideas you have. You know, when I was writing Hop to It and Vote, I got this flashback to second grade Valentine's. Hop to it and be mine. That's what makes it so much fun, right? It's cute. So coming up soon, we're going to be using more liquid inks, a little more messy, but it will be water soluble. One of the brands is Speedball Inks for rolling out, and you can get, um, can get a really small set that has very small tubes and several colors that you can mix, although I always use a lot of white. You'd be surprised. Even in the red, I use a little bit of white. And you can get a really small roller. I love these uh, soft rubber style. Some of the other brands, they don't always roll. But next time, we are printing with fruits and vegetables, found objects. So again, we're not really designing a print. We're printing what's there. And it's really cool. And I found a set from Prang. Let's get it out of the light there. I found it at Dick Blick. And it's actually washable temperas in very small jars, several colors. It lasts a long time when you're just printing little strawberries. So think about it ahead of time. Otherwise, watch the credits, print your prints, subscribe, like, and send me your questions, comments, and cards. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.